Good morning, guys. Welcome to another edition of Lexington Water Cooler News. My name is Rock Daniels, and it is Friday, TGIF, March the 10th, 2023. So in weather today, the high is going to be at 49 degrees. The low is going to be at 31. The sun's going to rise at 6.57 a.m. this morning and set at 6.40 p.m. Now, a man who had been shot flagged down Lexington police officers on Price Road yesterday at 6.58 p.m. Now, he was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Now, while we haven't seen the murder rate that we did last year, it's not because people aren't out there trying. They're still shooting each other. They're just not aiming as good, I guess. So, we've got to work on that a whole lot more. Now, Kentucky Utilities' power outages have decreased rapidly since the Kentucky windstorm that we faced last Friday, a week ago. So, currently, only 72 customers are without power, with 51 outages in Jefferson County and 16 in Oldham County. Now, Fayette and Harlan Counties have less than five outages each. Lex Have Pride members have asked Lexington City Council to denounce the anti-LGBTQ plus legislation in Frankfurt, stating that the bills like Bill 115 and Senate Bill 150 are attacking the community's most vulnerable members. Now the council, well, some members of council, drafted and signed, some members signed, a statement supporting the group and addressing housing insecurity for LGBTQ plus youth at their work session yesterday. Now the grassroots organization hopes to tackle discrimination against transgender healthcare employees and other issues. Now Lexington, Kentucky, hmm, you're ranked, no, 59th out of 75 most popular cities for fiscal health. That's fiscal, not physical. And this is according to a report from Truth in Accounting. The city is facing a financial shortfall of $857.3 million, resulting in a taxpayer burden of $9,400 per taxpayer and earning a D grade for fiscal health. Lexington owes more than it owns and bills total $1.4 billion. Wow, this is a significant tax burden and the long-term financial instability was not even addressed. So we need to work on this council. So Kentucky House approved a bill to regulate Delta 8, which is THC products derived from hemp, uh, with an overwhelming support from lawmakers. Now the bill aims to prevent the mildly intoxicating substance from falling into the hands of children, which is a good idea, and sets guidelines for production and sale and labeling of the Delta 8 products in the state. Now the legislation would prohibit the sale of Delta 8 products to anyone under 21, which is understandable, and the bill now heads to the Senate for consideration with advocacy groups urging its passage to ensure the safety of consumers and the hemp industry. Absolutely, totally agree with this. Now the Kentucky women's basketball team is once again facing a scenario where key players have announced their departure with starting guard and second leading scorer, Jada Walker declaring her entry into the transfer portal. Man, Walker was one of only five returners of the Wildcat 2021-2022 roster and started all 31 games for UK this season. Now, after the departures of Walker, freshman Kennedy Cambridge, and seniors Adebola Adeya and Robin Benton, the Wildcats roster currently stands at 11 players. Kentucky finished the 2022-2023 season with a 12-19 and overall record and plenty of questions. Ah, oh, come on, lady cats. Well, that does it again for another edition of Lexington Water Cooler News. My name is Rock Daniels. I am the Bluegrass Realtor for all your real estate needs right here in Central Kentucky. Give me a call. Join me again tomorrow for all your latest news, weather and sports. Otherwise, have a great weekend. Enjoy it with your family.